Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. I thought our marriage was rock solid until I discovered my wife was cheating on me with a close friend. Now I'm left to pick up the pieces. We've been married since we were 19, and next year marks our 25th anniversary. We have three daughters a 19-year-old in college and twin 15-year-olds. Life at home seemed pretty normal, or so I thought, but lately, something has felt off. My wife has always had her own job and interests like yoga and pottery which I respect. I've got my own hobbies too but over the past few months there's been an underlying tension. Sometimes, she seems distant, even during intimate moments. We still have our regular weekend morning lovemaking, but it feels like her mind is somewhere else. It's frustrating because I can't quite put my finger on what's wrong. I've asked her if something is bothering her, but every time she assures me everything is fine. I wouldn't immediately suspect infidelity, but I've noticed she's been spending more time outside the house lately, maybe for the last six months. She's been busy, but she used to be so upbeat, energetic, and almost giddy. About three weeks ago, everything shifted. Suddenly she started hanging around the house more often, but she seemed distant. She'd come to my office to chat, but she had this sad look in her eyes, like she was carrying some heavy burden. It's like she wants to be near me, which I appreciate, but her behavior worries me. Even weirder, our twins are acting strange too. They've been unusually sweet, offering to help with chores like taking out the trash definitely not their usual behavior. It's as if they know something I don't, like I'm missing a crucial piece of the puzzle. Their odd yet affectionate behavior started a few weeks ago, around the same time my wife's behavior changed. A couple of months ago I happened to glance at our Verizon bill and noticed a ton of texts between my wife and an unknown number. When I asked her about it, she claimed it was just one of her girlfriends. But when I checked her phone, there were no texts from that number at all. I pressed her again, and she said she deleted them to save space, but it didn't add up. Why would she delete only those texts? The last six months have felt strange but the last three weeks have been downright bizarre. Yesterday, I made the decision to call my oldest daughter. I shared everything I mentioned here, and she assured me she would talk to the twins. The twins really look up to her, and they tend to be a bit scared when she gets mad. This morning she called me back and said she had spoken to the twins. She's coming home this Friday for the weekend, so we can have a proper conversation. I told her I can't handle being left hanging like this, it's too much for my heart to bear. I pleaded with her to tell me what's going on. She mentioned that it's bad but could have been worse. She reassured me not to worry and explained that Friday is the earliest she can come home to talk. She did mention that there's some good news amidst the bad. However, the twins made her promise to keep it a secret. It's important to note that my wife and the twins are unaware that our oldest daughter is coming home this weekend, and she explicitly told me not to inform them. She was very firm about that. I apologize for not having much of an update to share. It seems like I'll have to wait until Friday to find out more. Some of the responses I've received here and other threads I've read have left me terrified. It feels like stories like mine never end happily. I'm fearing the worst, thinking that my wife might have had an affair and that the twins know about it. My daughter was being cryptic during our phone call and clearly wants to discuss this matter in person rather than over the phone. As it turns out, my worst fears were confirmed. The person my wife had an affair with wasn't a co-worker or someone from her hobbies. Shockingly. It was a friend of ours the husband of one of the couples we were close with. Needless to say, he will never be considered a friend again, and I'm determined to let his wife know about what happened. The twins caught my wife with him when she was supposed to be at yoga. They were extremely upset and confronted her about it. She assured them that she had no intention of leaving me or anything like that. According to her, it was just a fling. They both enjoyed the thrill of being like teenagers, secretly dating and sneaking around. She didn't realize the devastating impact it would have on our family. What she has put the twins through is almost unforgivable. As soon as the twins exposed the affair, my wife ended it immediately. She had planned on keeping this secret for the rest of her life. She told the girls that she should carry the guilt, and that if she told me, it would alleviate her guilt but completely crush me, which it has. The girls agreed, and they were all set on keeping this secret. However, my oldest daughter became furious with all of them. I'm still processing everything that has happened. I packed a bag and left, causing my wife to break down and cry on the floor. I turned off the location services on my phone and drove about an hour away to a cabin in one of our state parks. Right now, I don't feel like talking to anyone. Only my oldest daughter knows where I am. She came to visit me today and we had a good conversation. She expressed that it's not surprising for her mother to do something like this because she's always been a predictable stereotype. My wife tends to follow trends whether it's yoga, essential oils, gad or any new shiny thing that comes along. Now, in her middle age, she's just becoming another stereotype. The twins are angry at their mother and worried that I won't come back home. Honestly, I'm not sure if I will either. Right now, I don't really want to talk to them either. My oldest daughter said she'll come home as soon as her semester is over and make their lives miserable. She had to leave a couple of hours ago to go back to school and now the sadness is setting in. Here I am, a middle-aged guy sitting alone in a cabin, thinking I had my life all planned out, 
but now everything is uncertain. I probably won't post about this again. I'm going to stay here for as long as I can afford it and figure out my next steps. I asked my wife to leave and give me some space. However, she responded with determination, saying no. I won't abandon our beautiful life and love just because of my stupid mistake. I'll fight for us with every ounce of strength I have and make things right. Together, there's nothing we can't do that's just how she is. It's always been her nature to be stubborn, so I'm unsure of what to do. I genuinely need some space. Staying at this cabin has been really therapeutic, especially with its amazing hiking trails. However, I know it's only a temporary solution, and I eventually have to go back home. But I also know my wife. With the way she expressed herself, it would take an act of God to make her leave. On top of that, she won't give me the space I need. If I go back home, she'll overwhelm me with her love and incessantly try to wear me down until I go along with whatever plan she has in mind. Frankly, I'd rather stay away for a while. I need to be mentally prepared to withstand her onslaught of affection and rationalization, because she's an expert in that. She's always reading those self-help and motivational books and browsing websites filled with that kind of stuff. I made sure to pay for the cabin in cash for a week, so that my wife wouldn't be able to track me down if I used a credit card. I already received emails notifying me that someone used a different device to access my credit card accounts, both of them. It's definitely her. I knew if I paid with a credit card, she would look it up and try to find me. I also had a conversation with the twins, assuring them that they were in a difficult situation, but it wasn't their fault. I made sure to let them know that their dad loves them. They mentioned that on Friday, mom was a complete mess, crying uncontrollably. However, by late Saturday, she seemed to shift into her I can fix this, we will overcome mindset. Supposedly, she's been reading everything she can find online about repairing a marriage after infidelity. I used to commute back and forth from the cabin for work, but luckily, we're all working remotely now. It's actually a relief because I'm about 100 miles away from home. I've been allowing my wife to have a short phone call with me each night, just to let everyone know that I'm okay, but honestly, I don't want to be bothered. I prefer communicating with my daughters through text messages. It surprises me how many young people don't realize that smartphones can actually be used for making phone calls. If I want to hold on to my pride, then I have to divorce her because her actions have been a serious betrayal of our marriage. But if I choose to stay in the marriage, it means surrendering my pride as a man, and I don't think I can live like that. I don't even want to have a discussion with my wife about this because she has a way of twisting things around and making me agree with her logic within an hour. Unfortunately, my time at the cabin is coming to an end. I've been trying to find an apartment to rent, but it's tougher than I expected due to the ongoing virus situation. I told my wife that there's no way for me to stay with her and still maintain my dignity. I explained that if I stayed, I wouldn't be the man she claimed to love. It would just make me feel broken and resentful, lacking any sense of dignity. I made it clear that we can't continue living like that. She responded by saying we can work things out and that I'm the only man she loves. I replied that obviously, our marriage isn't great if she did what she did. After a conversation we both agreed that it's time to go our separate ways. I also spoke with my heartbroken twins, assuring them that I love them and will always be there for them. After deep reflection, I've realized that I can't stay with someone who betrayed me in such a way. My self-respect and dignity are important to me, and I would lose both if I stayed in the relationship. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.